Hey, what's going on? Uh, I decided to go ahead and make the transition from Team Deathmatch to Kill Confirmed. Mainly because Team Deathmatch just doesn't get enough points to you per kill. Uh, I really don't understand why they're not going to fix that stupid... Hey, look! Now, how did I know that guy was going to be in the corner? Because the previous two games that I played, he was in that same corner. Uh, hiding with the Remington 870 shotgun. And what he likes to do is move from one corner to another. So when you go looking for him in the corner, he's in a different corner and he screws you over. <laughs> so what I wanted to do in this game was basically just take over this center building because to me, this is another one of those key focal points on the map where everybody's trying to go for this. It's a strategic building. It looks overlooks everything and it's, it's in a really good spot and everybody runs for it. And if you want to get a lot of kills... Just run around this building, in, out of it, back and forth, and you'll piss people off if you're using the shotgun, I'm not going to lie. It's it's pretty beast, man. It's a good way to go. Uh, kill streaks. I'm using the Stealth Chopper, the Warthog, and the Lodestar. In this game, you'll notice that I cut out the Lodestars because I think I get 20 kills uh, with three Lodestars. And not because I totally suck with the uh, Lodestar, which I'm not that good. But everybody backed out as soon as I called them a Lodestar. Which, you know, normally, like, if you're using Swarm and Attack Dogs, you know, something like that may happen. And I can understand that. I mean, but uh, these ain't even that high of damn kill streaks, And people are quitting backing out of the game. This is shit you can shoot down. I mean, I think you can shoot down the, uh, the Warthog. I don't know. But look at me. I'm a team player, damn it. Shooting down the UAV. I mean, look, I'm close to my kill streaks. I don't give a damn. That's how you play, man. That was actually kind of stupid. Because if I would have got killed there, I would have been really pissed. Like, one off my damn kill streak. That would have sucked. And this guy's got that automatic shotgun. I think that they buffed it on... Uh, it didn't work out for him, as you can see. I think that they buffed it on uh, Xbox. But I'd been playing on PS3 because I'd already pre prestiged on Xbox. And it's double points, so I need to go through equally on PS3. That's what I try to do. If I go one prestige on Xbox... I'll go one prestige on PS3 and back and forth. That way I'm not dedicating too much time to one system. And if I, because if I do that, I'll get too used to one controller and then I'll be screwed. Like, you know, today, earlier today, I was having problems adjusting to the controller. I mean, just, it just feels different and it's weird. And for the most part, I don't have that problem. But what I do tend, I, this is going to sound really stupid, but it, it, I'm not joking. This is 100% serious. If you have Xbox and PS3 and you play, call of duty and you alternate between the two with friends and stuff play with the one that you're comfortable with in the in the daytime when it's early and then when you're going to switch to the other one start drinking i know it sounds terrible like i'm trying to be funny but i'm serious i mean if, if you're of age it, uh when after i had how <laughs> this sounds terrible i know i'm sorry but after i've had about five or six beers i i play so much better on the other system getting used to the controller i don't know what it is i'm just relaxed and i don't think about it, it, it for me, it, it kind of relaxes me. So find something that, that will help you relax. I'll say that. I don't want to say drink all kinds of alcohol and get drunk because most most people playing Call of Duty are kids, not, you know, loser grown-ups like myself. So, But, um, you know, just whatever works for you to uh, help you relax and play better. <laughs> Whether that be drinking if you're of age or uh, just... I don't know, doing something else, finding something that helps you relax. Music, music helps. I mean, you can't sound horse, so there's really no point in having a headset on unless you're talking to teammates. But, uh, yeah, as far as, like, and that's another thing, too, I want to talk to you about uh, my perks that I'm using. First tier that I'm using is Hardline. I like that. It just gets me to my kill streaks a little bit quicker. Um, and I don't really feel the need for Flag Jacket anymore because not that many people are throwing grenades. And most of the time with, like, Bettys and Claymores, you can pretty much avoid them. Uh, and you, I know where people are going to put Bettys and Claymores. Now, when it's that surprise Betty that's in the middle of somewhere, you're like, what the fuck? Who puts a Betty there? Come on. You know, those ones will get you. But for the most part, I really don't see the point in using Flak Jacket. Uh, and second tier, I'm using Fast Hands and Scavenger. I think it's Fast Hands. Whatever. It's the perk that helps you throw things faster. That That is a great perk. You know, I hadn't used it until like maybe a week ago. But it, it's awesome. I mean, you could chuck damn grenades, EMPs, bouncy beddies, everything so much faster, and it helps you recover. Uh, you know, if you get in those crazy gunfights where you're like, oh, I just chucked a damn sem uh, Semtex or a Flashbang, you know, and then you get killed, right? I hate that. So it, it kind of, I mean, that can still happen, but it helps so that that thing, kind of thing doesn't happen. So I definitely like using that. I'm not using a third-tier perk because 
I really don't see the need for anything in the third tier. Maybe dexterity from time to time on certain maps, but uh, awareness, dead silence, we all know that's a bunch of bullshit, just a waste of time. I know it makes the enemy voices sound louder or quieter, it makes your voice sound quieter or whatever. It, to me, it, it doesn't work worth a damn. You know, unless the, they're going to have to come out with some kind of patch or something uh, for me to use that where I can actually hear people moving around. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm used to it. And um, I did like Tack Mask a lot at first because of the shock charges. But I spam these damn EMP grenades so much that uh, most of the time I don't have to worry about it. I'll just lead with an EMP grenade and take out the damn uh, shock charges and Bettys that way. So I really don't see a need for uh, any third tier perk, to be honest. Um... What the hell? See, that guy's creeping up on me with the shoddy again. This building, I'm telling you, just stay in this area, man. Everybody will keep running in this same area. Maybe not so much on free-for-all, but like on uh, any kind of team game, this is the way to go, uh, in my my personal opinion. But uh, you'll see my kill streaks. This is actually a pretty good kill streak setup. Um, I probably shouldn't have went with the load star. I should have went with something else. But I don't have anything unlocked. All that, you know, that's like, can you take a kill streak with you? in like for a permanent unlock that's i wonder if you can do that because i don't have dogs i don't have swarm i don't have orbital v set you don't get that shit until you're like level 45 so and here i make a mistake i, I go to call on the damn warthog hog and i accidentally call on the load star so i get killed right there um yeah i hadn't died died yet i think i was like 40 and 0 or something or 50 and 0 i don't know and uh just a mistake on my part i mean calling the load star in the middle of the street i tried to protect myself with it but uh I got worked over, needless to say. And I think that the first two low stars I called in, I got two kills apiece with, and then the last one I got like 12 or 14. It, the last one actually wasn't too bad, but I know most of you guys probably don't want to watch that stupid crap. Um, and as you can see, I'm just staying in this spot again with the shotgun running around. At this point, I'm trying to end the game as quick as I can. And look, I got two pieces. I don't know what happened here. Like, something blew up or I don't know. Like, I was going to get two kills there, and I got screwed. Bullshit. The game cheated me. Always cheating, damn it. But yeah, this is uh, this is Taco. Just a quick uh, kill confirmed. Well, not really quick. Uh, kill confirms a little bit longer of a gameplay, which I'll have to get used to. But uh, yeah, final score is 72 kills, one death. Uh, using uh, pretty my kill streaks did most of the work. I'm not gonna lie. So, but yeah, this is Taco. I'm out.